if you're asked to balance this chemical equation. The first thing you do is identify all the atoms on both sides of the equation. So for this reaction, I have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And if you have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen on the left-hand side, it's going to be the same on the right-hand side. Starting with the carbon, I have six carbon on the left. Over here, I have one. To make it six, I add six in front of this carbon, and that becomes six. Move on to hydrogen. There is six hydrogen on the left. On the right, I have two. Now, if I multiply the two by three, that becomes six. So which means I need three to balance the hydrogen. So three times two, that is six. Next, we have oxygen. On the left-hand side, I have two. On the right, this is six times two, 12, plus this three. Now, this three affects the oxygen as well. So that means you have 15 oxygens. Six times two, 12, plus three, that is 15. And 15 is an odd number, which we cannot easily just balance. So in order to balance this oxygen, since oxygen is standing alone over here, what we will do is find a fraction that will balance the oxygen. Okay. Now, if I use seven and a half, seven and a half times two is actually 15. Okay. And that will balance the equation. But we are not going to leave this equation like this. Multiply the whole equation by 2 in order to remove the fraction. So once you multiply by 2, this becomes 2C6H6 plus 7.5 times 2 is 15 oxygen. And then 6 times 2 is 12 carbon dioxide. 3 times 2 is 6H2O. And this is your balanced equation. So whenever you have odd number situation, use a fraction to balance it. Especially if the atom is standing alone. And then multiply the whole equation by 2, and that gives you your balanced equation.